wait, it's over. Beta flight 4.5 is almost here. When it might happen and what will the beta flight 4.5 will bring to the table? The answer is that it really depends on the, on the current phase of the testing and ensuring by the beta flight team if everything works correctly or not. What will change in case of the beta flight 4.5 comparing to the beta flight 4.4? A lot, but don't really expect any super ground changing uh, changes, like for example, previously we had in form of, for example, the simplified tuning, GPS rescue, or even, I don't know, RPM filtering. Most probably the beta flight 4.5 will be rather one step closer of beta flight being ready again or maybe for the first time, depends on uh, how to take a look at it. Be ready to have the position hold and real return to home. Yes, however strange it might sound, looks like the plan for the beta flight team is to close the gap between beta flight and the softwares like Ardupilot or iNav, which all have the position hold and real return to home and landings functionality. This is why in case of the beta flight 4.5, there will be some changes in terms of the GPS handling, there will be changes and a lot of improvements in terms of the magnetometer handling, there will be changes that makes the whole function of the GPS rescue more, more uh, much nicer. And in general, uh, let's, let's say it's a preparation to reintroduce ability of the real navigation to beta flight. How long it will take to have real navigation in the beta flight? That's a completely different story. But if you look at uh, GitHub and what have the beta flight team planned for the beta flight, 4.6 for example the altitude hold might be a thing again the full list of the changes uh, planned for the gps for the beta flight 4.5 is like i mentioned the gps handling uh, return to home and gps rescue improvements magnetometer update uh, different usability changes connected with the led strips huge updates to the angle and the horizon mode fail safe simplifications and improvements and uh, something that they called a dimmable rpm harmonics which is supposed to make the rpm filters much more better than they were previously, plus easy landing. Simplify landing and of course behave slightly better than what Betaflight offers us right now. Looks pretty interesting. Let's see how it all will behave.